Hey guys, uh, Luke here, uh, aka Stun Mosaic, and I'm here with another comic review. It's time of Manhunter, the special edition. And look, it's gold. I'm not really sure why. I think it was the only gold comic book, comic book that I that I have and I've ever seen, but um, this is it's pretty cool. This collects, um, I think, um, I think uh, six or seven uh, backups from. Detective Comics in the mid 70s, I think 73, 74, uh, written by Archie Goodwin and with art by uh, Walt Simonson. This is some some um, uh, pretty interesting stuff. Um, um, in the introduction, Archie Goodwin mentions that he was sort of brought on as editor of uh, Detective Comics to try and do something about its relatively low sales at the time, and, uh, and unfortunately that didn't really happen. But um, what sprung from his involvement on that book was writing uh, and sort of co-plotting um, this um, Manhunter uh, backup feature, which is all collected in this trade, which uh, I was able to get at my local comic shop for half off. It only cost five bucks. This is a really good trade. Um, spoiler alert, I really like this. I really like that I can get a little collection there. Um, Basically, it tells, it tells of uh, Paul Kirk, this adventurer who dies and is sort of brought back to life by this group called the Council. Um, sort of a, sort of like a, a very Machiavellian type of organization who's sort of one of those groups that just sort of wants to take over the world and um, they actually clone Paul Kirk um, to create sort of their own um, army. And um, Paul and um, Paul Kirk is brought back uh, from the dead to sort of um, um, carry out the bidding of the council, which he refuses to do, goes on the run, and then and sets out to try and stop um, to, to try and stop them. And it's a globe hopping um, journey from Kathmandu to Istanbul, Marrakech, a lot of places um, around the world. And uh, along the way, uh, you get an Interpol agent, Christine. St. Clair, a little, uh, little, little bat friend right there who you might be aware of, makes a uh, appearance. Um, one of the last stories, the last part, the last story, which ended up being the uh, main story, was sort of the finale of the, of the Manhunter tale, and it had um, Batman uh, in it since it was, it's, 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 it, uh, well, it was in uh, Detective Comics. And there's also um, sort of um, uh, the, the sort of the story that Goodwin and Samson never end up finishing, although, although it is here in the book because Archie Goodwin unfortunately passed away. Simonson ended up doing uh, the art and just didn't have, have any writing, didn't have any captions. Um, so it's sort of a silent story featuring all three of those characters, um, Paul Kirk, Batman, and uh, St. Clair, Christine St. Clair. I was always forgetting her name. But yeah, um, I just want to show you a little bit of the art from Walt Simonson if you're not terribly familiar with his stuff like like I wasn't. I really like his art. Um, really detailed stuff, really nice. Um, the story at the end I think it even has, has better art than what's in the first, in, in sort of the main story, but um, he's definitely a, uh, a good artist and someone who I definitely want to check out more of. I'm not totally sure all of what he's done. I mean, I know that he's done Thor and um, other characters here and there, but um, I'm still a yeah, comic book noob. But anyway, um, this was a fairly brisk read. I was able to get it done in, in a couple of nights. It was about 104 pages, I want to say. So you you could probably read it um, in an evening if you're fairly fast. And the last story goes goes by pretty fast because you're not having to read um, all the uh, dialogue and uh, captions and uh, whatnot. Um, but yeah, it, it's really good. I don't know if it's out of print or, or how, how it really available it is online, but like I said, I was able to find it for um, for uh, very cheap at my local comic shop. So maybe next time you're at your shop, ask them if they have anything. Um, if, if they have this uh, Manhunter trade, again, it's called Manhunter the Special Edition. Really good stuff. I'd probably give it um, an 8 out of 10. I would, the only thing is I would probably want more, you know, that that's um, the same. Um, 
the same sort of uh, complaints I had about some of their books um, recently is that I want more of it. It's a mini series or it's backup uh, material and it never got continued. Um, I do have, um, I think it's a Detective Comics annual. That's a sort of like, like a Manhunter thing that sort of tie in with the Millennium uh, event that was going on at the time, late 80s. It has three different uh, Manhunters. The original, which was done originally by Jack Kirby and had sort of some um, some uh, callbacks in the series that uh, uh, Goodwin and Simonson put in. has this Paul Kirk version. There's another one who had, who had like like these like big like long like horns or, or, or a thing like sticking out of his, his helmet. I'm not entirely sure who created that one or what was going on with that one. But um, I, I, oh, actually, it, it wasn't the Detective Comics annual. It was the it was an issue of Secret Origins, the origins of these Manhunters. So um, I'll have to read that sometime and maybe include that within the review or maybe just put it out um, with all the other Secret Origins um, issues that I have so far. I'm just looking for a few others. Um, just because I'm, I'm interested in how these characters came to be, and um, um, the uh, Secret Origins issues are, are fairly cheap online too, so hopefully I can get those and get more more knowledge. Um, so anyway, that's that's Manhunter. Give you a little preview. We'll, we'll do a preview of what I'm going to be uh, reviewing next. Doc Savage, the Man of Bronze. Uh, which collected uh, sort of the um, comic book adaptations of a couple of different pulp novels. Can't really uh, see the cover too well because um, it's like the uh, library uh, sticker. Interlibrary loan coming in uh, in the clutch yet again. This is, uh, this is the one done by Steve Englehart, Ross Andrew, and Tom Palmer. So look for that in a couple days. Um, yeah, so that's all for me. Um, thanks for watching and uh, happy reading.